Welcome to Deep Thought. Dig for real knowledge. You got to dig for the real knowledge out there. Understand something. Think about what I was saying in my last podcast. The government, the media, the corporations control the knowledge out here. When you look at these news programs, much of what it is isn't news. It's propaganda. They can control a narrative. They can do all that. The education system, that's political. They can control what's being taught there. You know? The religions, they, that's a certain control mechanism. So it's always going to be the knowledge that's presented is always going to support the mainstream, the system. Now, I've said in a video a while ago what is the mainstream, but let, yeah, we know. Whatever it is. Now, how many people are really a part of the mainstream is something different because you got so many subcultures. But you still got that mainframe. You got that main thing. So knowledge is limited because you don't want any knowledge presented that can upset the apple car. Because, for example, say if a critical mass of people stop using a lot of these pharmaceuticals, they start getting natural remedies, you know, the type they could probably grow in their yard, uh, a lot of people would start losing some money. Or what if people say with this political system, you know what, we ain't voting Democrat or Republican, you know, who, quite frankly, are the same party, just different wings of the same party. What if they say, you know what, we're going to support this candidate who doesn't have major corporate support, who's, aver- who's basically campaigning through social media, and <laughs> legally it can change everything. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff to keep control. You got to keep the knowledge down. You got to manufacture what people hear. You got to manage them. In fact, the elite, the they's, they don't so much as force people to do stuff. They just put up fences. So, you know, that knowledge or lack of knowledge is a fence. So if you want real knowledge, you're going to have to dig for it. Now, remember in the last episode, I talked about when I was introduced to something I hadn't heard before in the late 80s. You know, herbs that could, like, clean out your system totally. (laughs) Ironically, a lot of uh, pharmaceutical companies have jumped on that. But back then, it was like, oh, wait. You're going to have to dig. You're going to have to dig for some real knowledge. You ain't going to find it. Like, uh, there was a scene in the movie Blade, the first Blade, right? Wesley Snipes. And it's a very powerful scene. It wasn't like a scene where he was fighting vampires. It was a scene he had some watches, and he had stolen some watches, and he needed to get this serum to keep his vampire side down. And so he went to this, uh, like this bookstore. And you could tell it was a deep bookstore. I had a brother in there. And, you know, had some charts of the human body up in all these books, and he was able to provide it. And I remember having a conversation with uh, a dear sister of mine, um, and we were saying, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> You know, you get those places you don't know about. And trust me, after that first experience I had at our Pyramid Bookstore, I, I could find those places. Yeah, you got them. You got them now in different places. You know, they don't have a big sign up. They ain't in a mall. They might be in a, you know, they might be in a basement or something, you know, or some house. But you go in there and the knowledge will just knock you off. You know, you'd be like, Wow. You know, you got, you'll have those bookstores. You'll have, like, people who practice alternative faiths or something, paths. They're more holistic. You know, you have, like, holistic healers and stuff. And, you know, they might not give you some medicine. They might give you uh, some uh, herbal or something, you know? You know, my first son is here as a result of using some herbal medicines. Um, he, it, was a, he, it was a close thing for him. It was a close thing, you know. His mother was having some uh, contractions that could have caused a miscarriage. But she was, we went to a more herbal person. She took that, boom. And, you know, the son, on a physical level, he's in the 100th percentile as far as his height, body build, everything. And even uh, a lot of stuff that... uh, they would have had as children, they didn't have like rashes and stuff. We would use like more natural creams, like shea butter and stuff on it. I don't think they, yeah, they ain't never really have diaper rashes. 
Because if they even had a little bit of one, we'll put that shea butter on it. But that's some natural stuff, you know? So the knowledge is there. The stuff that'll work is there. And, you know, right in the one thing about the world now, a lot of stuff that was like more underground then is more on the surface now. Not totally, but you could see it. Like, you know, some companies, like some pharmaceutical companies jump into it. But you have to dig for it. Now, once again, talking about that scene from Blade, I was like, understood. You get some places got knowledge like that. Or I'm going to tell you what, being in the publishing industry and then doing like uh, vending events, uh, you know, uh, being at some of those bookstores <laughs> that are in those weird places, not quite in the mall and doing book signings there, there is so much that you find. You know, there's so many books out there that have some powerful knowledge, it's hard to find. Like on this channel, I've mentioned, on my both channels, I've mentioned Ma uh, Master Yao and Yamache Morris, who was definitely um, a mentor. And he has a book that's a powerful, powerful, powerful book. And... Uh, called a mummer, the uh, natural blueprint for sexual relationships, which was greatly it greatly influenced me. It greatly influenced me. So much grew just from that. Uh, much of my knowledge, you know. I talked last week about being teachable. I was very teachable, but you can't hardly find that book. People have hit me up. Where can you find it now? Master Yao has republished a book, but it sells out quick. But the original edition, you can't hardly find it. I have quite a few books that you can't find in a regular bookstore because you had a lot of publishers and they were more on uh, alternative kick, holistic kick and everything, you know. They weren't part of the mainstream, but they could still publish the books. So you have a hard time finding the books, but when you get in there, when you find the books, that knowledge, you know, and you got to dig for it. You got to dig for it. Indeed, uh, I've talked before about giving a um, woman an orgasm without touching her. And indeed, there are women who've been touched, uh, who've been trained on how to give that to a man. That wasn't in any books until I saw it introduced in um, 2007. But you couldn't find the information in any books or anything. And even now, you have a little bit more information about it, particularly from Master Yao. But it wasn't there. So it's like you're digging for the books. You're digging for the individuals. You have individuals out there who have some powerful knowledge, and they might not have written anything. They don't do YouTube videos. So sometimes you you got to do some digging. You got to do some digging. In fact, mentioning Master Yao again, uh, shout out to him. Much of the knowledge he had, he had to actually go travel to different parts of the world. He actually had to actually become a part of some different societies, even some secret societies, to get the knowledge. He had to dig for what he has. So that's a very important thing. That's a very important thing. You're going to have to dig. It's not out there. Yeah, it, it, Be real. Unless you know the right words, like the right words, even doing like a, a Google search. They say Google is your friend, but there's some stuff out there Google ain't going to find. <laughs> there's some stuff Google ain't going to find. Shoot, the dark web ain't going to find it. But you got to really dig. You got to get out there in the field. You might have to. And a lot of it is some luck. You got to first tap into like any subcultures that deal with some stuff. You have some subcultures out there that practice certain knowledge. Like uh, once again, I mentioned um, orgasm without touching thing. There's actually a growing subculture, well, tiny for now, where this is a norm. But in order, and I gave you a way in, but it's still, you still got to know the people. You know, that's how you have to dig. You have to dig for that real knowledge. So I want y'all to think about that. And that's all I have for now. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.